Mark Pryor is a Democratic senator from Arkansas, and he wants to keep his seat, but he thinks he's in a little bit of trouble. It's a red state. President Obama got crushed in Arkansas, and uh, he's been going further and further right all along, but the Republicans are saying, oh, no, you voted for Obama. Care, we're going to come to get you. Ha, ha, ha. So Mark Pryor has decided that he's going to go into his old bag of tricks. This is how he won in the first place. He had run ads with him and a Bible. So now he's decided, well, you know, it worked once. Let's do it again, and let's try to bring it over the top. I'm not ashamed to say that I believe in God, and I believe in His Word. The Bible teaches us no one has all the answers, only God does. And neither political party is always right. This is my compass, my North Star. It gives me comfort and guidance to do what's best for Arkansas. I'm Mark Pryor, and I approve this message because this is who I am and what I believe. Now, this guy's not running for the local pastor position. He's running for Senate. I mean, he literally shoved that thing in our face. This is what I believe. The Bible, here, take it, take it. Thum, thum, thum. I know, I know, dude. Okay, you believe in the Bible. God, you're so over the top. It's so defensive. Because if you're a Democrat, oh, you know, it's a, uh, is it, do you really believe in the Bible? So he's got a gut out there, and put it on there. This is, oh, oh, look at, oh, I love the Bible. Mm, I get off on the Bible. In fact, actually, uh, we have his first uh, ads that wound up not going on air, but originally he was going to run with this ad. The Lord Jehovah has given unto you these 15. Like, ten! Ten commandments! But they thought, ah, you know what, that seems a little uh, too lighthearted. So uh, just to prove how much Mark Pryor uh, loves God and Jesus and the Bible, uh, this was the original ad that they were going to go with. Man, there's a sickness in American politics. You know what the First Amendment says? It says we shall not establish a religion. Well, the founding fathers are rolling uh, around in their grave, rolling over in their grave, as these senators are like shoving the Bible down our throats. Hey, J.R. Jackson, we call him sometimes Reverend J.R. Jackson. He produces this show. His father was a deacon. He's one of the few religious Young Turks members here. But he looked at that ad and said, that guy should be impeached. It's a violation of the Constitution to say that you are going to lead not by our laws, not by our Constitution, but by the Bible. Well, we didn't vote on the Bible. We're not led by the Bible. That's not our founding document. I don't believe in the Bible. I'm an American citizen. I don't want you to represent me if you're only going to use the Bible as your main source of what you believe and how you will rule. Then you're not really American. You go run in, a, in the Vatican. Or if you're going to use a different religious text, go run in Saudi Arabia or in Iran. And by the way, your over-the-top insecurity on it is pathetic. 